My painting practice is very physical, messy and spontaneous. Often I'm trying to figure out my own problems and, uh, and doubts through the painting. The stories I depict are guided by my feelings and although they are sometimes not based on reality, the physical act of painting and thinking about the subject excites me as if it really happened. I studied at the Academy of Fine Arts in Bratislava, Slovakia and got my master's degree in painting. As I was finishing my studies while competing in wakeboarding in Thailand, I met my husband and moved to Corpus Christi, Texas, where he was born. Moving to such a different place and living together as two complete opposites, me as an artist and Robert Alpha Cowboy, changed and challenged the way I live and think. First few years I struggled and had a hard time appreciating my surroundings and Texan culture. After spending a lot of time at Texas ranches, I started noticing new ways to look at the situation I found myself in. First, it was the Texas nature and light that swallowed my heart. Symbols like cowboy hats as a protection from sun and boots to keep safe from rattlesnakes made their way into my paintings. That's when I think I started really enjoying myself without trying to escape from here anymore. Having a studio under the house has made it very easy to assume that uh, it's also my place to like, clean the house and take care of the house, or that being an artist is some kind of a hobby compared to real jobs out there. And I was so mad at those dishes being there left for me that I felt like I really have to make something out of it. And that's why I started painting these dishwashing paintings titled Dishwashing in Texas. This series of paintings became a really good example for myself how to convert the anger into some kind of loving criticism. The big formats are so close to my heart because I can almost live through them, while the small paintings are more intimate and intuitive and serve me as some kind of diary. While women in my paintings might seem sexy, it's never their main feature. I like to show them as uh, strong, but also vulnerable, and they know what they want, and they are comfortable with a male gaze. Bears started appearing in my work during my studies, and always served me as a mysterious replacement for a lover, voyeur, or a, some kind of protection. And I enjoy how their simple black figures leave space for the viewer's imagination and mind to Motherhood made my studio time more intense and my practice more impulsive, which I enjoy. I let Alenka paint the bottoms of my paintings and I look at her as a part of my work now and maybe I'll be a part of hers uh, in the future. There is nothing sexier than forgetting about the gender roles, dropping our egos and simply taking care of each other and I think that that's the secret of the happy household.